We do problem 86, sticking with the pH scale, determine the pH of the following weak acids. 0.25 molar solution of the weak acid HA that has a Ka value of 1.25 times 10 to the negative sixth. All right, so this is uh, HA and it's a weak acid. So that means that we have this occurring, HA goes to H plus plus A minus. Now the HA is aqueous. Right. So that means my Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of A minus all over 0 0.25, or pardon me, all over the concentration of HA. All right. Now we know Ka, we know HA, but we don't know H plus or A minus. So that means we have to use an ice table. So let me go ahead and introduce you here to the ice table with these. Uh, again, we're just going to put in H plus, A minus, and HA. Okay. The initial concentration of H plus is zero. A minus is zero because we don't start out with any, but HA is 0.25. Right. So HA is going to go down by some amount X. A minus is going to go up by some amount X. H plus is going to go up by some amount X. So my equilibrium is X x and 0.25 minus x. But these are weak acids. They don't break up completely. They break up just a itty bitty bit. Since that's true, that means this x value is going to be really, really small. So imagine this. You have a million dollars and I take a dime away from you. You're not really going to feel that dime. You're not going to be crunched. Now you have zero dollars and I give you a dime. Well that dime is actually quite a bit of money compared to zero dollars. So when we take this 0 plus x, even though that x is incredibly small, it's important. 0 plus x, x is incredibly small, but it's important. Now, 0.25 minus x, that x is incredibly small. And it's so small that we can actually say that this x is basically 0. So whenever we plug our values, our equilibrium values, into the Ka expression, I can actually plug this in. I can say Ka is equal to my hydrogen ion is x, my A minus is x, and my uh, HA is 0.25. Because what I'm saying is that that minus x is 0. I can actually drop it out. Okay, And we'll check it at the end here. So let's see. That's equal to 1.25 times 10 to the negative 6. Right? So that's x squared over 0.25 is equal to 1.25 times 10 to the negative sixth. So let's plug this into my calculator. So I'll multiply by 0.25 and I get this, x squared is equal to 3.13 times 10 to the negative seventh. Don't round it yet. Take the square root of both sides. And I get a value of 5.59. So here's my x. 5.59 times 10 to the negative fourth. Now, what does that x represent? That x represents the equilibrium concentration of the hydrogen ion, the A minus ion, and then how much I'm losing from HA. So this actually tells me the concentration of H plus. Now, what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the pH. So is this the pH? No. But can I find the pH with that? Yes, absolutely I can. So I can just come over here and say pH is equal to the negative log, the concentration of the hydrogen ion. pH is equal to negative log of this value, 5.59 times 10 to the negative fourth. So what do we get? So I got a pH of 3.25. Okay, so there's a pH now. But I told you there is a check, so we have to check to make sure that this assumption we assume that x is so small it can be zero. We have to check that assumption, and we do that check. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. I know you guys hate this, but I'm gonna do that check with the five percent rule. Okay, so. We can call it the 5% ionization. 
we can also call it the um, uh, percent ionization as well. But basically what it is, if I take the concentration of the hydrogen ion, which is what I just calculated, right, that's this value right here, if I take the concentration of the hydrogen ion and divide by the concentration of HA and multiply by 100, if it's less than 5%, then the assumption that X is zero is a good assumption. So let's see what we get. We get 5.59 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0.25 times 100. So I got 0.22%, which is less than 5%, right? Which means that when I assume that this value is basically zero, that 0.25 minus x is basically 0.25 minus zero, that's a good assumption. Now, if this comes out to be greater than 5%, then I can't drop this minus x. I have to include that over here in this equation. Let's take a look at another one. Same idea, 0.45 molar solution of lactic acid. Right. So here's my lactic acid. H C H three H five O three that breaks up is it gonna give off the one hydrogen ion that's in the front. Okay. I'm gonna write my K A expression. Uh, let's go ahead and write it over here. So there's my Ka expression. If I do the ice table again, I'm going to come up with the same ideas that we had before. H plus. So the initial amount of hydrogen ion in the uh, lactate ion is zero. The initial amount of this is 0.45. So this is going to go down by some amount x, up by some amount x, up by some amount x. So it's going to be x, x, and 0.45 minus x. And again, that minus x we can drop. So now I can say 1.38 times 10 to the negative fourth is equal to x times x over 0.45. So I'm, just going, to, I'm going to solve this for x this time. So my x value ends up being uh, 7.88 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Okay, so remember that equals my hydrogen ion. It also equals my lactate ion, but I'm not really worried about that because I'm just trying to calculate pH. So pH is equal to negative log of 7.88 times 10 negative third. So I got a pH of 2.10. Uh, let's go to, th yeah, two sig figs is good. All right, so there's my pH. I got to check the hydrogen ion though, make sure it's less than 5%. So let's do that. So what is it, 7.88 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0.45 times 100. So I get 1.75%, which means that stays at zero. All right, one more. Uh, an acetic acid solution. This is pretty popular. Acetic acid, I use it a lot in a lot of problems. It's going to break up into the hydrogen ion and the acetate ion. This, go back up to letter B. This should be a two-way two arrow. Sorry about that. Okay, it's 1.45 molar, so that's, that's fairly concentrated. 
Now let's write the Ka expression. Okay. That whole thing is equal to 1.76 times 10 to the negative fifth. Set up your ice table. And yes, you have to show all of this work. Alright, plug everything in, x times x over 1.45, remember you drop that x there. Now you can only do this so far with weak acids and weak bases. So I get an x equal to uh, 5.05 times 10 to the negative third and that's the molarity which is the concentration of the hydrogen ion so pH is equal to negative log concentration of the hydrogen ion so I'll take the negative log of that value and I get a pH equal to 2.297 Let's check our answer just to make sure that that minus x can drop out, which I'm pretty sure it can, but let's go ahead and check it anyway. Yeah, it's only 0.35%. So that's the percent dissociation or the percent ionization.